How you doing? It's me, Gerald Reynolds from Portland, Oregon. Had a few things I'd like to get off my chest, and since I've only got, you know, a few fingers left, kind of hard to type. So I like to make a video now and then to tell you how I feel. You notice, as soon as Obama was done with his speech, the Republicans march out that uh, minority, the guy from India, Jen <laughs> I've never even heard of this guy. All of a sudden they marched this guy out with his broadcaster's voice and an actor's gait trying to tell us that uh, he knows what he's talking about and that Obama's leading us down the wrong path or wait a, minute, a rosy path with thorns or something. Whatever he said, he was definitely in coach with the rest of the Republican Party because everything he said was basically a, a, the rhetoric assigned to the senators and, and representatives of the Republican Party. They tend to like to, you know, they, they use the scare tactics about how he's going to destroy our country and uh, he's going to let all the prisoners out of Gitmo and we're all going to be we're all going to be you know have our necks sliced in our throats cut in our sleep or whatever right and all that crap and then they give this little uh, soliloquy this little uh, soliloquy. then they give you this little example about how one of the detainees of Gitmo was released and returned to Saudi Arabia and became one of the one of the uh, uh, cell heads in Yemen or whatever well, that happened on Bush's watch. So what's your point? Is it the point that these people are all really terrorists and there's no use letting them go? Well, we weren't supposed to be letting them go. Bush supposedly had a deal set up where he'd send them to a Saudi prison with his buddy Saudis, yeah, the ones he holds hands with, and they'd deal with them. They'd send them back to school and re-educate them. <laughs> and that never works. The first place these people had been indoctrinated and brainwashed in Madras since they were like maybe four or five years old. Okay, it doesn't make any difference what they do or how they do it because they're going to follow the same old rhetoric that they've been following for you know a long time in their life, and then the whole group has been following for you know over a thousand years. It's all about killing the infidels, I guess, or whatever. And that's just that's just at that point, okay? Then you know, you guys bring up this the 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 economic uh, situation as if it's you know Obama's fault or, or our fault or our the Democrats' fault or whatever or the Libertarians' fault or anybody's fault but you and Bush's who were in control for eight years. He steps in and they call Rove today. What is this guy? He steps in and says that Bush started his presidency in a recession with a deficit. No. He had a three trillion dollar surplus that Ray, that Clinton left him. And not only did he squander that, he ended up spending trillions more to fight this stupid proxy war that nobody wanted. He well said for him and his cronies. Maybe a bunch of you folk out there who kinda like that stuff, you know, a bunch of warmongers anyway. Could you excuse me for a second? I'd like to quench my thirst. Thank you. But things are changing. For instance, I guess President Obama has finally uh, sent the order down to the uh, DEA, it says the Justice Department anyway, to uh, stop raiding the medical marijuana facilities and, uh, uh, you know, the co-ops and such. Yeah, that's not right. Shouldn't have never been doing that anyway. You know, the feds don't need to be coming and telling the states. Uh how to act, you know, how to treat their citizens as far as uh, medicinal treatment goes. Because we all know the federal government has had a very dismal record treating, you know, medically any of its uh, responsibilities. Like the veterans, they hardly get school. And then half the time they got to go and pay co pays and all that for fighting for the country, for crying out loud. Those things are all going to change. Okay, whether well, y'all believe it or not, he's, he's been saying over and over and over again, if you make less than a quarter million, you're not going to see any tax increase, period, more than likely a deduction and more money starting this April 1st. You know that, you've heard it over and over, but numbers are blind, 
but for those who don't see. You know, you can look around all you want, but if you're not really looking, you can't see. Yeah, I know, you get it. Anyway, another state going to decriminalize medical, medical marijuana or marijuana period. Um, uh, Massachusetts it's decriminalized now. Great. By the way, Angela, hello, how you doing? Cold marijuana. This is one of the things I have that I wanted to mention. And then, come on, guys. Give the guy a break. Let him work. Stop your naysaying right away. And they're calling us bashers. You guys are crazy. You're doing the same old crap, saying the same old shit, doing the same old pot. Scary tactics. Calling up on the Muslim as if that makes a difference. Uh, you know other things. Just, just stop it, will you? Grow up. Get, get a grip, folks. He's a good man. He'll do right. Just give him a chance. Why don't you go out there and volunteer? Do something. All right. Well, I'm signing out. I got a weirdo brother caregiver who just won't leave my life alone. He tends to want to control people, but hey, that's another story. Night.